Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Interstellar Rift. This is an, an open world sandbox simulation kind of a, kind of a thing, a, a spaceship simulation thing developed by Split Polygon. It has been in development for a long time. I think it started out first in 2012 and uh, it's been on Steam Early Access for a couple of years now. Uh, but uh, it, it is still in Steam Early Access. The, the real allure to this one, the thing that makes this one special is the ship editor. So I guess imagine this game as if it's like... Uh, Kind of like EVE Online, where you can go out and you can do missions, you can be a pirate, you can be a merchant, you can be a trader. All these different uh, things you can do with your corporation that you are a part of. Um, but you can actually also design your own ship. It is multiplayer, it's not massively multiplayer, but you can do up to 64 players on a single server. Uh, you can also play in single player mode, which we'll be doing today. Uh, and with the multiplayer, you can have folks that are all manning the same ship. Someone, maybe someone takes the guns, another person flies. Uh, that kind of a, uh, a feeling to the game. But it is still in early, development, early uh, access, in development. Yada, yada, yada. Let's play the game. Oh, first let's show off the uh, player options. So we can design our person here. We can be a male, we can be a female. And there's not, you can't actually see yourself. You can just see other people around you. But you can change, like, your... Um, oh, look at that. You can have a... A uh, funky helmet like that, and you can change the colors of it if you want. Maybe we want to have, maybe we want a yellow helmet, or maybe we want a little bit of white in there. Yeah, there we go. That's that's. Um, I was gonna say that's cool, but that's that's not cool. But there we go. Yeah, everyone can pick us out of the crowd. Sounds good. Okay, so let's jump in here, and uh, let's. There is a. So it is online. It, it doesn't appear to be the most the most popular of online games, though. The biggest server here is a five player one out of 64. So not the uh, most uh, popular uh, online multiplayer game out there. We're going to do solo today and start up a new server. Um, I've done a couple of them. Yeah, I'm playing around with it. We'll start up a galaxy name, Nucrium. I can't think of a better name for a, uh, for a galaxy. Let's start this thing up. So it's going to begin us here in a uh, in a station. Uh, but, oh, but first we have to select who we are, what, what corporation we're a part of. We can have the, the Hurls Company. These are the mining and resource people. Uh, depending on who you pick, depends on the kind of starter ship that you get. Uh, the Galactic Trade, these are the cargo haulers and traders. You're going to get a little bit of a, a hauling starter ship. And you get a few resources here. we got cash, hydrogen, and oxygen. Uh, Sentinel Security Services, these are the combat and the salvaging folks. It also depends on the kind of missions you're going to get as well when you choose these people. And the Drifters, which says mining, which is also kind of a piratey corp also. Uh, we're going to go with the S3. We get a little bit of ammo with it as well, and we'll get a Paragon Mark One. As soon as we join these guys, we can go and purchase as soon as we get on board the station, which we're going to do here in just a moment. Now, the stations are pretty massive. You can go in, and, and uh, our first job is to come in here and just pick up, a, pick up a ship. We have a welcome message here. So let's pop that thing open as soon as the game decides to load. Pull up the old, uh, the old arm PDA or whatever you want to call it. And go to the message center and take a look at our new mail we got. Uh, welcome, subject. You have permission to come aboard our highly sophisticated battle station. We have made 750k units available to your person, as well as a small amount of fuel and oxygen. You can purchase one of our base level patrol craft at the store of Tron. All right, excellent. Go away. Let's, uh, yeah, perfect. So let's go to explore old, uh, um, Fort Bragg, I believe is what this one's called. S3 is who we are a part of. Robot Man will say, uh, how he feels about us. Friendly. Excellent. I'm a member of this station. Now, there is... our first. I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to go and we need to purchase... We need a loan. we got 750 grand right now. We can go and we can go pick up our, our, our ship. We have a starter ship we can pick up and we kind of see. I'll show off the uh, this editor here as we, uh, as we get into this. And uh, we can see what all we can do with this. We have a guy here selling us some drones. I guess we want to talk some... Attach some drones to our ship. I'm not sure um, if our ship can handle them or not, but that guy's there. Let's go to the concourse, I guess. It's sort of the central part of the station here. We have a uh, a big uh, a big space mall is what we're at here. So uh, we've got plants and we got giant rotating eyes. Uh, so here's all the missions. You can see things like fair pay for fair deal, search and destroy. These are the missions that we can pick up as soon as we get our ship. We get a teleporter. We can jump on board our ship with that. We have galactic trade, uh, like a trade center, a market. Um, we have a vault here. This is our bank. Um, speaking of bank, let's go ahead and pick up our stuff. We have some hydrogen in that. We saw that when we started off, we can pick up some things. Let's pick up all of our junk here. We'll toss it on board our ship and some ammo as well. And uh, let's go. Um, let's go to the store and buy our ship. 
750 grand in credits. We go purchase ship. And we get the Paragon Mark I. That's the one they're going to give us. Small combat vessel equipped with multiple weapons and a salvaging unit. Excellent. I'll take it. One, please. Okay, very good. Um, let's show off. I guess let's go ahead and show off the editor right now. I mean, that's kind of what makes the... That's where I see the game being special. So we're going to go ahead and... You can design from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and modify the one we have, though, so we can kind of see what a proper built ship looks like because I'm not going to spend the time. I mean, you could spend a lot of time uh, building this thing. But there is our ship. It's very white, very orange. Uh, we can see outside. Now, you build this thing. You build it square by square. Almost, I guess, almost sim style. Yeah, you start a block by block, square, square by square. But then you, as you get into the thing and you go interior, you start putting in... You put all this stuff in here, like all the walkways, the grates... All the different units, the doors, you, uh, here's the engines, you put everything in this thing. And, um, it's, it's, uh, I mean, you could spend, uh, I'm stuck in the ship. You could spend hours building this thing. On the, um, on the Steam work page, uh, workshop, whenever I first loaded up the game, the first one that was, that was showing up there was a, uh, a Star Destroyer that someone had made. So that, uh, that's just gives you an idea how, just how massive these ships can eventually get. But, uh, yeah, there's our teleporter on board the ship. We've got a bit of a cargo uh, holder thing over here. Another one over this way. And uh, we'll see all this as we get on board the thing. It's a first-person sort of view, but so we're just kind of seeing the constructo part. But we can put in more ladders. We can put them in here. We can put in some spiral staircases if we're fancy. But we're not fancy like that. Let's get out of here. Let's leave. Yeah. Uh, whoops. That's not the right button. There we go. Okay, so we'll get on board the ship here in a minute. But for now, we also want to go look at... This is it over here. So let's say uh, maybe we want a plasma pistol. Yeah, I would like a plasma pistol, please. One, please. There's a plasma pistol right there for us. Thank you. Now we have a gun. We can't shoot it in the, in the base, though. Kind of lame, I think. Let's go into here. We can pick up... Anything else we can buy? Star maps. Nothing too exciting. Can I buy some ammo from uh, this spot? I don't want to run out. Let's see if we can. I would like... Um, are those missiles? Buy for six grand. Sell for standard missiles. Um, yeah, I'll buy them. I don't know that my ship can hold these things. We don't want that many. We want, uh, like... These are expensive. America can hold three. Um, sure, we'll buy three. Okay, cool. I don't know if we can use these things or not. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find out. I don't think we can. Uh, so we have a cargo transporter down here. We can actually go ahead and transport this stuff onto our ship. Uh, the easy way if we're lazy. We can come on, like, or come on here and we can just drop all our stuff down. Like the missiles. And the, uh, the hydrogen is the most important thing. Actually, let me pick this thing up. Let's dump some hydrogen in here. Hydrogen we're going to use for fuel. Let's come over here. Let's, let's pop it onto our ship. Go to the, uh, the old peregrine there. And we're going to dump that into our uh, hydrogen tank. That's It's gas. So let's gas it up. There we can see we got 0 of 10k amount of, uh, of fuel in there. Now we have uh, 8k worth of fuel. I guess we can put a little bit more in there. Um, and that's oxygen. I'm going to hang on to that one. Let's go ahead and uh, sure dump that in there too. Okay. We also have a cargo pad inside this. So we can throw some stuff. If we don't want to go walking and carrying it in, we could we could transport it over to the cargo bay. But I think it's fine. We'll, we can we can walk. We're not that lazy. What's in here? Uh, I don't know. Let's go this way. Oh, back up here. Right, right. Uh, is there anything else to show in here? There's there is uh, there's a, a big refinery thing. A big refinery part of the game. You can go and you can use mining and you can you can get resources and you can use those resources to go and buy new ships as well. But uh, before we get into that, let's actually show some proper missions here. So let's pick up a mission. Search and destroy. What's this one? What do you got to do? What do you want me to do? So uh, we touched an unsightly gaggle of scriff ro uh, roaming around Fort Bragg. That's where I am right now. Dispatch these foul creatures and cleanse the space around our outpost. Upon completion, you will receive a reward appropriate to your activity. We will get two something, a hundred reputation to our uh, our people and some cash. Sure, I will do that. Okay. Um, let's go do that. Let's go to our ship. So, let's go over here. We want to go to the Nook. Um, yep, yeah, teleport me there, please. Confirm. And hop on board. And hold your breath. There we go. 
Okay, welcome on board our ship. We're down here. We remember we saw where the transporter was. We're now here on board our ship, and we can walk up the stairs here. And we can see we've got what's over here. This is a some sort of cartridge status. We can see all of our all of our things are working properly like they should be. We've got generator shield generators. Shields are full capacity. They are on at the moment. We can shut them off if we want to save some power, but it's fine. Uh, we've got a uh, transponder right here. We can we can transpond. We we'll start broadcasting if we need to. This is our our um, the bridge right here. We can hop into a pilot seat and fly around. Uh, I'm using a mouse and keyboard, so it's it's not the easiest thing to fly, but we'll be fine. Uh, I gotta throw this ammo in somewhere. I forget where it goes though. I think it goes back here. There's the engine room. Let's see if we remember where I put our our ammo and stuff, and our oxygen also. Oxygen is also very important. Let's put it into oxygen. There we go. So we want to get our oxygen and toss it right there. There we go. We can now breathe. We actually have a full thing of oxygen. We had zero, I guess, before. And uh, carbon, if we need to, I guess, transport something into carbon. Some sort of storage bay. We want to put our ammo in also, which is going to go, I think, up here. If I can remember where it's at. It's not over here. It's, uh, it's over here. This one? Yeah, there we go. Ammo. Can I put missile? No, you don't. You don't want my missiles. I don't know that I can use my missiles. It would be really cool if I could, but I don't know that I can. So uh, we may not have missiles on board this ship. We're just gonna have to hold them and look at them. Okay, so let's do some flying. Let's hop into the seat and let's fly. Ooh, what's going on? Let's fly out of here. Okay, when we head out, we can we can see our ship departing here. We can fly it this way if we wanted to. We can fly it this way. Uh, but we're going to see if we can actually get where we want to go. Now, they're going to have... There's a mission out here somewhere for us to destroy. Them. They're like, they're here at Fort Bragg, right? I don't know exactly what we need to be shooting at, though. That's the station right there. Don't fly in the station. Sensitivity is a little high. Uh, search and destroy. Here it is. So it's a... It says it's nearby, but it's nowhere nearby at all. 254... I don't know what the G is. Galactic meters. I'm not sure what that is. So let's go ahead, and we've got ourselves lined up with where it's at. It's a long way away. It says it's near Fort Bragg, but it's lying, apparently. We're going to set out this way. So we want to warp there. Go ahead and crank it up. We're going to hit J. Engage warp drive. We're going to warp 1 initially, which is still not going to get us anywhere near there. But we're going to keep on cranking up. Warp like seven or something to get there, because uh, you can see even though we're going warp two, it's we're still not getting any closer. It's gonna take us sixty days to get there at this rate. Now it's six days, and now it's seventeen hours. Keep on great working. Warp five, one hour. We are using our hydrogen by using by using the, the ship like this. Thirteen minutes. Let's see if we can go a little faster. We'll be there in 1 minute 27 seconds. I like the sound of that. Uh, we can do that. We can go a little faster if we wanted to. Maybe get a little, a little quicker. 8 seconds. We'll slow down a little bit more. We got 1 minute. Maybe I should have not slowed down so fast. But we got a minute and we'll be there. You can see how much quicker we're going now. That was what? Warp 7 right now? So whenever we get here, we will uh, stop out. We'll blow something up. And we'll get rewarded for it. And we can use that cash to buy probably more ammo. But eventually we can go, we can do some mining, we can get some more elements to build ourselves a new ship. And we can build whatever kind of ship we want. Or pull them from the Steam page, if we want to do that. The thing that, I, that interests me the most about this game is probably the being able to have friends play with you and control different things. Some of the ships actually have separate weapons turrets. Kind of Star Wars-like, where the turret actually is a... Um, like a manned gun, like like on the on the Falcon, um, and uh, you, so you can sit there and use that. Uh, where my ship, I can actually fire from the cockpit. Okay, so we are here, seven kilometers away. I'm gonna slow down a little bit, and we've got it marked here. It's some sort of a. I'm not sure actually what we're shooting at. Can we actually see this thing? Let's slow down and uh, get out. Can I see it? I can't actually see the thing. I'm not sure what that is. Those little red things out there, I think are the things I'm supposed to be shooting at. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Uh... So I guess we're going to go ahead and just start blasting this thing. Get it lined up. We 
can. Ease over. Speed it up. Turn the weapons on. Start blasting. And he's firing back at me. Oh, it's some sort of alien worm thing. Oh, he's angry at us now. Okay. 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 So just like... I mean, the last time I played a game like this would be like... I don't know. TIE Fighter. <laughs> um... There we go. We gotta be firing at things like, like this. Wing Commander, maybe? When was that? Early 90s? Yeah, yeah if, if my shields, you can see my shields are dropping pretty quickly. I'm taking some pretty massive damage from these things. And there we go. Now we're into the hole now. We're taking some massive damage. We can warp away if we need to. We can see if we can kill one of them. We got him. There we go. Got him. Okay, we got some cash for that. Uh, there's more of them out here, though, right? There's all his bits. We really blew him up. Uh, where's more? Is there more? Something is shooting at us. There he is. Come here. Something else is shooting at us, too. Shields are, are slowly recharging, though, so... I'm sure we'll be fine. Speed it up a bit. I'm down to 100 bullets. I was going to buy bullets and I didn't. Let's make them count. Can we get him yet? Come in, come in. And we are out of bullets. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We shot one of them. We shot the one that was labeled Search and Destroy. You aren't. What are you labeled? Hey, hello, strange thing. What are you? I think I just ran into you. There's a strange alien worm that apparently we don't like very much. What are you labeled as? Oh, you are Search and Destroy. So we do have to go Search and Destroy you. I just don't, I don't have any more ammo, so we have to go fly, fly back and get some. So let's go back to the station. And uh, and pick up some more ammo. All right, back back to go get some uh, ammo. You can see the ships. It's had better days. Just a, a few scuff marks. A brand new ship already. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get some ammo. I'm here picking up some uh, some more ammo. I didn't show this off, but the uh, there's a refinery. I didn't mention that, but there's uh, loads of other materials that are in the game, and it's kind of this shows you basically how to get those materials. Let's say you want to take uh, carbon and iron. You can take it to a refinery and turn it into steel bars. You use those steel bars to create things, to craft, uh, well, to craft ships and things like that. Um, I just want to show that off. These, this is, I'm back, back here in the station and that uh, that just gives you an idea how how that works. We just left the station. We got another grunt hanging out here just outside uh, the Fort Bragg, so we'll see if we can shoot him. I couldn't afford all the weapons. I, I spent so much money on uh, repairing my ship that I couldn't really afford any bullets. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take this thing down. There we go. It wasn't part of my mission, but you know what? We get some cash for it. 11 grand, that's enough to buy more bullets. We may not even have enough to uh, completely take these hands out. What do we have? There's two more of them here? I think we can. We did that one for like 100 bullets. We can do this. So let's let's warp back and uh, finish this job off. We got I can't end this video until we finish this mission. So that's what we're that's what we're going to do today. All right. 764 bullets to my name. Space slug 9 kilometers away. We got them. I suppose we can get close to him, because he doesn't appear to be shooting at us at the moment. We'll get real close. Real close. And then we're going to blast him. Okay, four kilometers. Okay, he's going to start shooting at us now. And light him up. This guy seems... There we go, we got him. Nice. Okay, next. Where's the other guy at? Uh, he's down here. He's shooting at me behind me. He is up here. Okay, target him. And... Ah! Keep the ship in one piece. This ship is very expensive to repair. Please don't hurt me. Got him. There we go. Transmission done. We got 57 grand for that, for ex exterminating the alien filth. Yes. And there we go. And left a little 
parts of him are uh, are drifting by. So there we go. We have got ourselves. I don't know what the other thing was. What is that? It seems an item. What is the item? Let's take a look. You received an item. Extra token of appreciation for helping us out. You've added a data cartridge to your item vault. You can use the data decoder on faction headquarters to decode this cartridge and receive extra items and resources. Excellent. Excellent. I like it. Okay. Well, there we go. So there is the game. I think it's about enough uh, showing off for now, for one day anyway. And, um, yeah, this, this is Interstellar Rift. is available on Steam in early access at the moment. There is my terrible little ship. Things get much more impressive as, as time goes on and you get much fancier ships. But uh, it's mine, so don't insult it very orange. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.